All right, we have to talk about this for Halo Infinite, and that's skill-based matchmaking. Now, this is a topic that's been with Halo Infinite since the launch of the game, but why are people talking about it right now a lot more than usual? That's because people have jumped back in to play the Halo 3 Refueled playlist, which has been an amazing experience content-wise, but the actual experience of the gameplay? Not so much. The two major talking points I've seen throughout the entirety of the community since this playlist has launched is one, the forging is incredible. These maps are amazing. They need to stay in the game because they play out so well. The second community point that's been brought up has been the skill based matchmaking within this mode specifically and how damn sweaty it has been trying to play these Halo 3 maps. If you guys like these discussion type of videos, make sure to tap like on the channel, and subscribe to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo. Let's get right into those details. You can see my video yesterday showcasing the maps playing through the whole thing i lost every match and the last match within that video i scored 20 kills that was half of the team's total kills and we still lost so i figured to hop on later in the evening wait till the normal people jump on and start playing the game after work and stuff like that but it just felt like it got even worse. I played it on stream on the channel here. If you guys want to catch live streams, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel. I also was playing with my buddy BBK Dragoon, solid player as well. But our experience was like, dude, this is insane. We're constantly matching against Onyx tier players like squads of four just trying so hard to win. And I'm just trying to read chat, hang out with my buddy and just shoot some stuff. So let me show you some statistics of what I'm talking about here. So on Halo Tracker, it's a great website to keep track of your stats, your wins, losses, things like that. I really great stuff way better than the Halo Waypoint to say the least. My play session yesterday, my win-loss ratio was 4 in 16. I won 20% of my games. Every game here highlighted in green is a win and everything in gray is a loss and you can see, yeah, it hasn't really been that great of an experience. I've seen a lot of people's discussion online saying just remove skill-based matchmaking, we don't need it, it ruins the gameplay experience and things like that. And I totally get that. Though I do feel like skill-based matchmaking does need to be in every shooter, but in a certain capacity. You definitely need to protect people who are maybe have disabilities or new to the game or just not that good at the game to keep them engaged and having fun with it. It's not fun being stomped like 5 and 15, 5 and 20, like every game. That's not a good time. Someone like me should not be matching against people who just started playing or are just not that good at it. On the other side of things, it shouldn't feel like a ranked experience every single time I'm playing. I feel like there's a middle ground here that we're just not quite experiencing at the moment. Because if I want to match people of like all equal skill level, super competitive matches, every match is like 49 to 50 every single time, I'd go play ranked. Cause that's where I want to try. That's where I really want to care to win and actually do really well. When I play social, I just kind of want to jump on and shoot things and not really care a whole lot. But I don't want it to feel like I have to play a certain way to just even somewhat remotely enjoy the experience. And that's why basically I only ever play ranked. I might play a little big team battle if I want a little more social experience, but if I'm playing arena in Halo Infinite, I'm playing ranked because at least something's on the line to be shown for it. And the settings are far more balanced to have a much more true skillful experience, which if that's what you want for arena, for your social experience, you need to kind of help balance things out because the sandbox elements right now in the Halo 3 refill playlist are not really made for competitive in mind. They're balanced for social experiences. Like one side gets camo, one side gets overshield. The power weapons might switch around here and there when it comes to their spawn locations. That's fine for a truly social experience. But when you throw in highly competitive players, into a social experience, it just doesn't play well. Personally, I'm not gonna take the time to learn like where every power weapon spawns. And if this weapon setup comes up like this, then that means that weapon's over there and that power weapon's over there. Like if I'm playing a Halo 3 refueled, I just wanna jump in, see where a power weapon is, run to it, fight for it, maybe earn it, lose it, I don't know. Though I play like that when it is the ranked experience, which is really fun in Halo Infinite. I love playing ranked in Halo Infinite because of the settings are so well done. They're specifically designed for a true competitive experience. So skill is supposed to show through the most, but not with the social settings because they, they can't, it's randomized. It shouldn't feel like I'm trying to play against these incredibly sweaty Onyx tier players when I'm just trying to play a social match. Now you might be saying, Kevin, but you said you performed well in a match, but yet you lost. If you were truly playing against players at your skill level, shouldn't you be playing pretty much average like a one kill death ratio effectively, right? If it was truly skill based matchmaking? Well, this is more engagement based matchmaking. And the way I mean by that, if you perform well, you'll be put into higher lobbies. But if the matchmaking algorithm can't find enough players at your skill level, then you'll be thrown into a lobby where you have to perform 
exceptionally well just to even have a chance to win. Hence why I had a game where I went 20 and seven and still lost because I was the high skilled player on my team where everyone else was much lower skill and I had to carry. I feel like my gameplay experience is completely dictated by the algorithm. If I do well, it's probably because the algorithm threw me a bone and put me in a lobby where it was designed for me to perform well, they maintain my engagement within the game. Then the next game, throw me into a lobby that's super try hard and difficult and then I get beat down enough to where I get back into the easier lobbies and thrown back up to the higher skill lobbies. It just feels so formulaic. And with the increased population that Halo Infinite has been experiencing since the recent seasonal launch, right? We're back on October 17th. We hit 18,000 concurrent players on Steam alone. And we saw a significant population boost from 9,500 peak concurrent players to 12,500 peak concurrent players for just Halo 3 playlists alone. So when you have more players to take a pool of when it comes to skill grant gaps, you're going to be able to have a stricter skill based matchmaking with so many more people playing. But like I said, putting competitive styled players in a social style match it's not gonna play out well. So what's the remedy behind us? How do we fix this issue within Halo Infinite? It's clearly loosen the skill-based matchmaking parameters. Maybe things haven't been updated since the recent population boost with season five. 343 had to tune things in a certain way with a lower population and maybe it just needs to be updated. I've seen reports of people saying that their social matchmaking affects their ranked matchmaking and big team battle matchmaking rank affects your social match when it comes to regular arena matches and things like that which certainly could be the case. I've also seen 343 dispute this as well, but I've also seen evidence that it's true. So it's a big mess and no one really knows what exactly is happening, but we all know that it's there. And like I said earlier, I'm a total advocate for skill-based matchmaking. I think it's something that needs to be there for people who are just new, maybe have disabilities, or people who are just not that good at the game. Like someone like me, who's put a lot of hours in the Halo over the decades of playing this franchise. Yeah, I shouldn't imagine against someone who's brand new. That wouldn't be fair. There just should be some type of middle ground we can experience right here. It does seem like it's a little more engagement based rather than skill based. If it was purely skill based, I wouldn't be able to go like 20 and five in a single match. There really should be some type of different matchmaking algorithm when it comes to the social experience because it feels just like playing ranked. And if I'm gonna play ranked matchmaking style players, I'm gonna go play ranked matchmaking. I'm not gonna bother with social arena. Like that's why I never played Team Slayer because like it's the same experience as playing ranked arena but with better settings with ranked arena. So I'm gonna go play that instead. And right now I'm dreading the experience of wanting to hop back in to play the Halo 3 playlist or really any social mode within Halo at the moment because of how strict the skill-based matchmaking is. Like I wanna grind through the operation pass. I wanna play the game more, but I'm dreading the experience of knowing that I'm gonna have to try my freaking ass off just to break even to have maybe a 50% chance of winning. Let me know what your experience has been recently with Halo Infinite. Do you want skill-based matching completely removed? Do you want it tuned or does it need to be stricter even? I don't know. Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.